Thomas Watson, The Ten Commandments. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression? Because he delights in steadfast love. Micah 7, 18. What an encouragement we have to serve God who shows mercy to thousands, who would not be willing to serve a prince given to mercy and clemency. Judgment is God's strange work, Isaiah 28, 21. The disciples who did not wonder at any other miracles did wonder when the fig tree was cursed and withered. It was not in Jesus' manner to put forth acts of severity. God is said to delight in mercy. Justice is God's left hand, mercy is his right. He uses his right hand most since he is more prone to mercy than to justice. He is slow to anger and ready to forgive. This may encourage us to serve him. What argument will pre prevail if mercy does not? If God were all justice, it might frighten us from him, but mercy is a magnet to draw us to him. Hope in God's mercy. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Proverbs 28, 26, verse 5. But I have been a great sinner, and surely there is no mercy for me. Not if you are resolved to go on in your sin, but if you will break your off your sins, the gold scepter of mercy shall be held forth to you. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Isaiah 55, 7. Christ's blood is a fountain open for sin and uncleanness. Mercy more overflows in God than in sin in us. His mercy can drown great sins as the sea covers great rocks. Some of the Jews who had their minds imbrued in Christ's blood were saved by that same blood. God loves to magnify his goodness, to display the trophies of free grace, and to set up mercy in spite of human sin. Therefore, hope in his mercy. Labor to know that God's special mercy is for you. Put a high value and estimate upon it. This is the diamond ring that outshines all other comforts. Christ is an able and a willing Savior. It is fantastic to know that the Son of Man is fully God and fully man, and thereby able to satisfy the wrath of God. Without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins, and only He could procure our salvation. But how greater comfort to know that not just does the Son of Man who uh, is able to take away our sin, but that He is a willing Savior, a Savior who came out of love, out of love for His own people to die.